Alright, hello guys, it's Gamer Peep Freaks here. So I have no script for this series here, uh, so I'm just going to be kind of going off my basic knowledge, I guess you could say. But as you read in the description, this is going to be a Forge tutorial series. Uh, mostly for those who are just, you know, trying to learn the game, trying to get at least a little bit decent at forging. Uh, of course, we have Halo 6 coming along here soon. The trailer isn't out yet, of course. We're still behind, I'd say, at least a year, but it's coming out soon, of course. Um, so we're basically just going to be going over the basics, uh, what basically controls, uh, where everything is, what you should be doing before you start a map, and uh, then we'll be having uh, episode two and so on. So first off, you have to of course know where Forge is. It's of course just this giant option, Forge. Uh, all these options down here, I'll explain them here. So you got Build, this is where of course you're going to be making your maps. And then we have Featured here. Uh, these featured maps are just 343 featured, so there's nothing that's like uh, player featured or anything like that. Uh, so basically you can click on one of these, press A on one, uh, you just move around with the left stick, you press A on one, and you're going to get all these options here, it's going to show you the screenshots of the map on the right side there. The heart is the likes, the little play button is the amount of times it's been played, and the bookmarks, uh, that, that little flag is a bookmark, so that's how many people have actually bookmarked or quote unquote downloaded the map. The tags at the bottom there, those help you on the, this is the right side of course, but the tags at the bottom there, he has BTB, which is Big Team Battle and 343 Featured. Date Modified, Date Created, those explain themselves, Original Author and The Owner. The Owner is basically the person that saved the map and uh, put it in, their, in their, uh, their file share, I guess you could say. And then the Original Author is, so let's say it said Owner Delta 5 and then Original Author was me, Gamer Peep Freaks. The Owner would be... Delta 5 because he saved the map and then he put it in his file share but if it said original author Gamer Peep Freaks that's because I'm the original one that made the map uh, if that makes sense to you guys. You have a finding custom games here so finding custom games if, if you go ahead and press A on that it doesn't show any results right now but if somebody had a public custom game going then it would pop up that game and you would be able to join it of course if it's public. Playing custom game you just press that and you'll be able to play the game in uh, the map in your custom game with your friends and whatsoever. Play in Forge, this will pop it up in Forge for you. Like, of course, that's going to add a like there to that little heart bookmark. This is bookmarks, so basically you have it in your bookmarks, which I'll show you later where that is, uh, so that it's easy access. You don't have to search through all these files. Save a copy, you're just basically saving it to your own files. Uh, report violations, so this would be, uh, yeah, let's see, if they had a picture of a on the map or something like that, let's say. Uh, that's the quickest thing I could think of. Search owner's files and then view gamer card. So view gamer card is of course what everybody knows is the Xbox gamer tar uh, gamer tart gamer card. And then search owner's files. You're basically gonna get sent to the owner's uh, file share, not his bookmarks, but his files. And you'll have here everything that he's been making or working on and everything like that. Uh, that's going to be game modes, maps, and also these prefabs. Uh, going off of game modes, maps, and prefabs really quick, uh, game modes are red, maps are going to be blue, and your prefabs are going to be green. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and hop over to the most liked. Most liked is just the exact same thing, but it's most liked maps. This is not uh, based off of 343. This is all player based right here, so Wyvern Zoo's Drivable Pelican has 48,000 bookmarks and 46,000 likes. So it has the most likes out of any other thing in the entire, uh, the entirety of, I guess, everything. Uh, that's, that's maps, prefabs, and game modes. If you wanted to edit the search so that you were just looking at, let's say, the most liked maps, you're going to and press Y, and it'll come here for you. Uh, custom search, of course. All of these, it shows you in that little left there under the saved empties. Uh, you can add up to five gamer tags to the search, and then uh, tags, you can add up to three tags to a search, and add a keyword to the search. The keyword is searched against the name, description, and tags of files. So let's say I put airplane in the, uh, in the keyword, then basically any map that has airplane in the name, description, or tag anywhere will pop up for me. You can sort by the amount of likes, 
or bookmarks or date created or date modified. The order by descending or ascending. So that's basically, you should understand that as long as you know basic math. Uh, this basically descending is highest to lowest and ascending is lowest to highest. Um, let's see here. Maps, game modes, prefabs. This is where you can basically deselect something that you don't want to see. So let's say I wanted to see the most liked, uh, let's do game mode. I would deselect maps and prefabs or let's say most liked prefab. We would just deselect maps and game modes. And we go and press search here. It's going to pop up with the most liked prefabs and prefabs only. Uh, throughout. My files is of course just your files or what people call file share. This will pop up all of your maps, game modes, and prefabs. If you don't want it to do that, again you can press Y to edit the search and you can deselect whatever you don't want to see. And then we come down and we press search and there's all my maps. Search is just the custom search, basically what we were just looking at, but with no nothing added to it, so no tags already added to it or anything like that. Now if we want to go ahead and go into build a map, uh, you have all these options here. Uh, of course, privacy, you can do open to all players, which will let anybody join. They can see it uh, in searches and stuff like that, or if they're friends with you, they can look on your gamer tag and join. Uh, or follow, we're not friends. Friends in Spartan Company, that's if they are a friend, then they can join you. Or if they're in your Spartan Company, so a Spartan Company is if you joined it on Halo Waypoint, then you would go over to whatever the name is, like mine is the Alliance Testing Network, and any of these people that are on right here would be able to join me. And then also I could do Invite Only, which is, of course, Invite Only, so only people, people can only join if I invite them. You can switch your team here. We have all sorts of different teams. Uh, red team, blue team, yellow team, green team, purple team, magenta team, orange team, cyan team. And then we're going to go ahead and go into the maps here. Uh, this is where you can basically go through everything, the featured, most likes, my files, my bookmarks, search files. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and go, we're going to go ahead and go into three, four, uh, three industries just to get a start off here. I'll show you guys your base canvases and then all the extra maps here. Uh, so we have Alpine is one of the base maps. You're going to have Barrens, which is right here. And then Depths. And then we come down here. We have Glacier and Parallax. And I believe that is it because that's all I ever forge on. Oh, you also have Tidal. That's the uh, giant ocean, basically. And then you'll see a few maps that have the same pictures as the base canvases, but those are not the base canvases. Everything else is 343 created or 343, uh, I guess you could say, um, what would you call that, promoted? So it will say file author 343 industries. So now that we are here, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'll show you guys the basics here. Every single map that you spawn into, or base canvas, sorry, any, uh, any single base canvas that you spawn into will spawn in with this platform here. You basically have yellow team, blue team, green team, red team spawns, and you have a few neutral spawns, I believe. Yep, neutral spawns are right here. And then you have a little movie canvas, uh, or I guess you could say uh, this is an outro, outro little movie film here. This is for, I believe, blue team, it looks like. Yep, blue team, red team, uh, it looks like yellow team, and then they don't have, or no, that's neutral. Yep, that's neutral. They don't have a yellow or green one. And then you'll have flag spawns here. These are basically just to help you with your flag game mode setups and your stronghold setups are right here. And we'll go into all of that later. Basically, when you get into the map, if you want to delete this, you just want to get it over with. You don't have to select everything. Uh, so basically, I would have to go through and hold right bumper to select everything. I'm not going to be doing that, though. You can just go ahead and press X, and then you can go on down with your left stick to map options. And then if I scroll up with my left stick, it's going to bring me down, and I go to delete all unlocked, and I press OK. So basically, that's going to delete everything that I have unlocked, and we'll go into lock options later. Now let's say I wanted to, uh, I wanted to change the skybox here. I don't like this bright, bright planet that's right there. What we're going to do is go into map options, and you're going to go down to lighting, and your theme and skybox, and we can switch between halo ring, exosphere, ascendance, and the blue planet. Blue Planet is the one we're on right now. We'll go ahead and hop into Halo Ring. This is Halo Ring. It's going to load instantly because I have nothing that it has to load the lighting for. Exosphere, 
Uh, this one's just a little bit of a dimmer, kind of like the blue planet, but it's of course a, a planet that doesn't have a really bright light on it. And then you have your little north star right there. I don't know what star that is. And we'll go into Ascendants, and this is basically you're floating above an Earth, you could say, I guess. It's not Earth, but you you uh, you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go and hop into controls here. So if you want to, you know, remove them, let's say you don't like them being on your screen, then you can just remove them right here, you know. So what we're going to go ahead and do is you go ahead and go down to Tool, Settings. Uh, you press X, of course, to get here. You press Tool Settings. You go down to HUD. You go ahead and turn on Control Helper, and you can do Beginner. So this is if you're a complete stupid idiot that doesn't know what they're doing, and you just want to start out. I'm just kidding. You're not a stupid idiot. You're just a beginner. Huh. Uh, go ahead and hop into the beginner there, and that will show you every single control uh, that you need to know about. And then we have all of those. And then if you hold your left trigger, it will show you all the op more options, right trigger, more options, and that's it. And then if we want to go, let's say we're getting used to these, you know, we go and do advanced. Uh, we just, it just basically limits some of the controls. So we're not, you know, we're not that dumb of a person anymore. And then you can also turn them off. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and fly through this entire menu here. You have your map options. Uh, so you have scripting, which we'll get into a later episode. You can turn that on or off on your map, and that will completely shut everything off. So if your scripting's ever not working, go ahead and look into this and... We'll go over that again, but make sure that it's turned on if you want it on. Your filter will be anything, uh, just basically it changes, not the, uh, I guess, how the player sees the map, you know, the color that the player sees the map in. And then, yeah, I can make this entire map underwater, I guess, if I wanted. FX, that's going to be anything like dust, rain, snow, uh, embers, moats, papers, stuff like that. Also bubbles, they got bubbles. Huh? And then we go ahead and go to near fog. So near fog is going to be anything that's close to the player. So map default is of course what the map starts you off with. And then I can go ahead and switch this up. Artistic, ethereal, puffs, galactic, gritty, patchy, fluffy, soft, spotty, starfield, swirly, turbulence, wispy, and map default. You can also change the color of those and everything like that. The scale, the thickness, and the brightness. Distance fog, it's the same thing, but it's just the fog that's far away from the player. Cloud shadows, these are going to be anything that's on a object. So let me go ahead and uh, grab an object here um, to show the shadows on. So we're going to place that right there. Basically, if I go to my map options, we go down to cloud shadows. I can basically change this up and you can see how it moves the shadows around and stuff like that. And we can also change the scale of it so it basically what it makes is the, the shadow will be bigger uh, if that makes sense so I'll go ahead and scale that up to 200 and we can change it around and everything like that there is no actual uh, clouds that appear in the sky sadly it's just the shadows I wish that they actually had clouds that appeared because it would make it look a little more realistic but what can you do you go ahead and go on down to wind override if you turn this on let's say you had hazy clouds the cloud shadows will actually move uh, the way that you have the wind moving. So I can have X direction, Y direction, and Z direction. I can edit all those, or I can just turn it off. Decorators. Decorators are going to be stuff that is only on your alpine or glacier map. And so basically, if you turn that off, uh, it's going to turn off like little tiny grass particles and stuff like that that you that are, let's say, creating FPS lag or are not in your map or not affecting your map at all. These are all your reference colors, so these are just easy to access colors whenever you're uh, editing the colors. If you come down to reset, you have reset map state, which is such as, uh, it says it down here, such as object position, destruction, spawns, and scripts. Reset map properties, so this reset fog, reference colors, the, uh, I think, effects and everything like that. Delete all unlocked, that's what we did earlier to delete everything that was unlocked. We can also lock objects later on. Respawn all objects, so that's going to, let's say I pick up a battle rifle, right? And that battle rifle doesn't respawn for 30 seconds. Then when we press respawn all objects, it's going to go and respawn that instantly. Reset object position, so let's say I have a pallet that was standing up straight, but I accidentally knock it over. Uh, if we press that, then it's going to go ahead and stand that pallet right back up for us. If we go ahead and go into tool, op uh, tool settings now, which is uh, on the X button, of course, as well. 
you have magnets, uh, which are on your, your blocks and stuff like that. You can turn on and off. Monitor speed, so I can go ahead and turn this on to normal, which is our normal movement speed and stuff like that, which I can hold on the left stick to move quicker. Or I can press precision, which will make me move really slow, and I can move my blocks into precise locations. We have the HUD that we already went over, so this is the budget. Budget meter is down there. The boundaries, I believe, is just like your kill boundaries, your volume, stuff like that. Um, control helper, we already went over that, beginner, advanced. Movement translation, this is for the object. Object or world, so basically, when I'm moving an object, will it move it relative to the object, or will it move it relative to the world? The snap, which is 1 8, 1 4, half, 1, 2, 4, and 0, point zero, zero one, which is the Z fighter. Rotation is going to be, of course, by degree because circles, 5 degrees, 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, none, and half, and one. Pivot, this is where you're going to be rotating the object. You have the center of mass, the origin of root. So basically the center of mass is the center of the object, the exact center of it. Or you can do it around the origin of the model. Uh, so basically, I don't know how to explain it. it. It moves between the objects and stuff like that. The type is the object, the world, the camera, and stuff like that. Cinematics, so this is going to be those camera locations. You can preview them. You can switch the team. Uh, so let's say I had a red camera and a blue camera. If I wanted to see just the red camera, I would switch to team one defender uh, and stuff like that. So and then game mode is Slayer, CTF, Neutral Flag, Breakout, all those different, uh, all those different game modes. So that's just in case I had a camera for strongholds and a camera for CTF. I could just look at the one for strongholds, you know. The type is intro or outro, and then the player count. So let's say I had a uh, outro that had a little stand that we'll show later. I don't know exactly what they call it, uh, but it's basically where the players will walk, and you can add how many players will be walking on that. Anyways, that was our intro to Forge on Halo 5. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll be posting episode 2 at a later date here. So thank you for watching and come back and subscribe and like and comment and all that fun stuff that I always have to ask for people to do. And so does everybody else. Ah. Alright, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.